Hello students, welcome back to the one more video session of uh, Microcontroller and Embedded System Lab. This is Vasan Naik from Kendra Engineering College. In the, my previous video, uh, we have seen a demonstration of a DC motor that is how to connect a DC motor to a LPC2148 microcontroller which is based on ARM7 TDMI processor. In this video, we will see how to connect a stepper motor to LPC2148 based microcontroller and uh, rotate, the step, rot uh, rotate the stepper motor in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. So before moving to the coding details, uh, let's see the basic uh, details about the stepper motor. So stepper motor, a stepper motor are DC motors that moves in uh, discrete steps, they have multiple coils, they are organized in groups called uh, paces. By en energizing the, each, each pace in the sequence, the motor will rotate one step at a time with the computer controlled stepping. You can achieve very precise positioning and uh, speed control. So this is the schematic of this step, uh, this is the diagram of stepper motor and you can see the uh, internal schematic of the stepper motor which contains uh, actually uh, two part one is uh, stator this is the stator part which contains uh, four coils four coils or poles and one more is a rotor part which rotates which is made of a number of teeth normally 50 teeth are there in a rotor so this is the stator which has got uh, which has uh, got four coils here you can see and uh, uh, when you energize the coil this rotor will rotate uh, it will move one step so based on the based on the uh, calculation we can based on sir, the based on angle we can make this stator to, to rotor to rotate particular angle that is either 45 degrees or 90 degrees uh, like that 180 degrees 360 degrees etc so now so this is the internal schematic of the uh, stepper motor two pace of the stepper motor each pace contains two uh, coils like here the coil a and c and coil b and d you need to energize the particular coil in order to rotate the rotor this is the rotor part and this is the stator part next one is uh, for explanation purpose here you can see uh, the stator part is connect stator part contains four coils a b c d uh, so we have pulled four wires from the four uh, these coils and these four wires are will be connected to the uh, driver IC from the driver IC these four wires goes to the microcontroller so microcontroller you need to configure as a output uh, output so you need to connect the output uh, pin of the microcontroller these four wires you need to connect the output pin of the microcontroller now in the stator part we have the uh, here a teeth is represented you have taken two teeth here n and s so when you energize particular coil then because of uh, uh, like uh, of pole rep uh, repulsion for rep uh, the repulsion this will uh, get attracted towards uh, uh, this south pole, uh, the south pole will get uh, like this south pole will get attracted towards this the here. Uh, once you energize the other coil, once again this will uh, get attracted towards the. It will make one more step movement. So in this way, it will rotate. It will make the complete rotation. So uh, the stepping of the stepper motors are classified into full step, uh, wave step, and half step. Uh, so in our uh, uh, experiment uh, execution, we have used full step. Full step means uh, at a time you are going to energize uh, two coils. Like for example, in the step number one, I am going to energize coil A and coil B. In the step number two, I will energize coil B and coil C. In the step number three, I will energize coil C and coil D. 
and in the step number 4 i will energize coil uh, d and a each step is a 45 degree that means you will get 360 degree rotation so when you energize a coil so when you energize coil a and b that means when you energize a, this and this uh, so one minute so when you energize the coil a and b that is this and this uh, then the other coil c and coil d you need to de-energize uh, that is you need to apply logic zero that time convert this value into xr decimal you will get uh, this is c this is c that is one one zero zero you know the positional value of four digit uh, four, sorry four bits uh, eight four two one so this is equal to c so when you energize uh, this and this uh, then this value becomes uh, six when you energize uh, this and this uh, this value becomes uh, three when you energize uh, this and this uh, this becomes nine so you need to store these values in the arrays you need to store these values in the arrays in the program arrays in the program so i will i uh, will see this one Now we will see normally you cannot connect this uh, stepper motor directly to the microcontroller you need to connect the stepper motor to the driver IC and driver IC you need to connect to 4 pins of the driver IC you need to connect to the 4 pins of the microcontroller that means uh, you need to configure the 4 pins of the microcontroller as an output port that will give output signal to the driver IC through driver IC it will energize the coil so you need to configure four pins of the microcontroller as a output uh, pin so let's go to the program and we will see try to understand so uh, according to the uh, kit given by the manufacturer we have used here FRC1 connector so in my previous video I told you what is FRC1 connector let me take you to the uh, pin details of the LPC 2148 kit we are using in our college. So this is the kit architecture based on the manufacturer. We have LPC 2148 based kit which got 5 connector. All these connectors are called as FRC flat ribbon connector. Uh, 1 FRC 2, FRC 3, FRC 4 and FRC 5 and FRC 1 FRC 3, FRC 4 and FRC 5 all these are 10 pin connectors but FRC 2 is 16 pin connectors. So in our experiment we are using FRC 1 to connect stepper motor module. So we will see now FRC 1 pin details. So FRC 1 contains pin number 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 of port 0 and 5 volt and ground. So we are going to use 4 pins from this. We will connect 4 pins from this port to the stepper motor. How we will connect? We will see. So let me take you to the program once again. So before proceeding into the program, we will see IO directory zero register why i am using io directory zero register means i need to configure port zero i told you we have connected a port zero 16 to 19 pin to the stepper motor 16 to 19 pin to the stepper motor so i am using port zero uh, and this port zero pins are connected on my kit to the frc1 connector so here you see IO what I will set the value uh, the value I will set to the IO directory 0 is 0x00ff0000 so 
uh, here how I got this value is uh, like you can see here this is a 32 bit register bit 0 to bit 31 in that bit 16 to 19 I need to make uh, as output bit 16 to 19 so in order to configure this as output you need to configure 1 1 1 1 that becomes f in hexadecimal other than that uh, for just for a configuration purpose or for addition as an additional requirement i will configure pin number 20 to 23 also as an output port actually it is not required but i will configure pin number 20 to 23 as output by giving 1111 so the final hexadecimal value is a 00ff0000 this will be stored in io directory zero register student this is the code so uh, i have included lpc214x.h header file so that is a generic header file for lpc214x based board then i have declared one array of name clock of type int and name anti clock of type int unsigned int and i have i have Assign the value 000300, then 000900, 000C00, and 000600. I told you we have actually, we used actually 4 bits, that is pin number 16 to 19 to connect it to stepper mode. So, what I am doing is first I will energize this coil that is if this is coil a this is coil b this bit is connected to coil c and this bit is connected to d then i will energize this one what is the value 3 next uh, i will energize uh, this and uh, this this value is 9 next i will energize uh, this and this uh, this value becomes c next i will energize uh, this and uh, this uh, this value becomes 6 so so this is for 4 bits rest of the bits are 0 so so when you compute that in 32 uh, bit hexadecimal you will get this value this value this value this well for complete rotation so i am going to store these values in the uh, uh, array Similarly, for anti-clockwise, uh, I will just reverse the uh, reverse the assignment direction. That is, I will assign first uh, six, next C, next nine, next three in the array. So once this is done, so once this is done, I have here function clockwise and uh, anti clockwise of type void but it will take argument like speed and uh, revelation uh, both are type int then i have one more uh, 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 prototype of the function all these are prototypes uh, the function definition you will see later uh, the prototype of the function like delay which will take int as argument and it, it is a, it, it will return nothing void so now We will see the main function. In the main function, so I have set uh, IO0 directory register as 0x00ff00. Then I am calling uh, clockwise function, then anti clockwise function and delay. So I will call clockwise function uh, with the argument 10 and 100. 10 is uh, speed and 100 is revolution, uh, that is number of rotations per uh, minute. Then anti clockwise 10 and 100 and delay. So we will see now clockwise function. In the clockwise function, you will see the nested loop here. So, uh, we have nested loop. Clockwise function will take uh, argument uh, parameter passed by the uh, like uh, while calling function speed and revolution. So, we have nested loop here. I have declared uh, i and j type uh, uh, int, it should be int. Then, j is equal to 0 to j is less than. Uh, REV it will increment J plus plus then I will take one more uh, one more power statement in that I have taken the 
uh, i value 0 to 4 because i want to assign four values from the array to this register so what i will do is uh, i will call the array and when i increment from 0 to 4 accordingly i will assign that value to the io set register then i will make uh, io uh, i will uh, uh, i will clear the other bits uh, by making io 0 clear register using inverse of clock i for example suppose if i set uh, 3 that is 0x 0 0 0 0 3 0 0 0 0 let me write this here separately that is 0 this is 0 0 1 1 so i will assign this value to the io 0 set register now to make sure that other two coils now when you assign this value coil number this is coil number a this is coil number b coil number c and coil number d uh, if you take in this order coil c and d are energized i want to make clear that i want to make sure that both coil a and b should be de-energized for that what i will do is uh, i will take the inverse of uh, uh, this one this value that time this becomes 1100 0, 0, and i will set that to io0 clear register so when you set something to clear register when you set 1 and 1 to the clear register then the particular bit or particular coil will be de-energized that is the main aim to write like this inverse of clock i this is inverse of clock i so what it this will do is this will de-energize the i mean this this will clear these two bits this will clear these two bits or this will energize de-energize this two coil this will make sure these two coils are de-energized along with the energize these two coils so after that i will call the delay similarly similarly i will proceed to the anti-clockwise in anti-clockwise also this the i have nested loop along with the i will assign array uh, elements of the array to the io0 set register then i will assign inverse of that one to io0 clear register as i said earlier then this is the delay function now we will see how to execute this one in uh, kill software so let me open the kill software so first you need to open the new project so let me open the new project new microvision project so we have here folder hardware and software inside the hardware i have created the folder based on the experiment number and we are now right now we are executing experiment 11 for that i have created an experiment 11 uh, folder by experiment 11 so you need to save the files uh, it's better to save the files in the separate folder so that it will not get mixed up with other project so i will give the project name here the project name is uh, exper so the project name is uh, st the project name is uh, stepper stepper project i will save this one by this name and you need to select the target uh, device so in my case it is nxp 24 uh, 2148 let's let me select lpc 2148 yeah so this is the explanation of lpc 2148 uh, microcontroller click on ok so it will pop up to copy the startup file startup file is required because you are going to write uh, uh, you are going to write the code in uh, embedded c so it requires startup file so click on s yes. so it has created the folder uh, for the target so in this folder it has created the group and in this group uh, you will see the startup.s now create the new file so uh, for the file you save this file by name steppper.c because i am going to write the program in c language 
now let me copy the program from the file directly from the file so let me copy the file so i will copy from here to the, till the end of the program so first i will copy from here to here let me copy this one to the particular folder after that let me copy the remaining uh, remaining i'll go to the particular fold uh, file and i'll copy the remaining code that is from here till i'll copy till here so i'll paste here followed by closing bracket so this is the program so once you write the program then you need to compile the program before compiling the program you need to set the uh, target option because you are going to copy this uh, exa file you are going to dump this exa file into the board so go to option go to the device first uh, select lpg2148 go to target check this uh, use micro lib and uh, uh, make confirm that the uh, crystal frequency is 12 megahertz then output uh, enable is create exa option this is exa file option this is very important in the listing enable c processor listing in the user not required c++ not required asm not required linker enable this uh, user memory layout this much of setting you have to do once this is done you add this file to this group to add this file to this group click on this one source group select the file add so file is added now you need to compile the file this one so it says zero errors and one warnings so let me clear that warnings also so once again save the file and compile it zero errors and zero warnings then uh, zero errors and zero warnings build and rebuild now it has created the exa file so let me go to directory and check so uh, my directory is, is in uh, e drive that is in this folder that is in hardware in the hardware 11th experiment and here you can see exa file is created this file you need to dump into you need to dump into microcontroller board so for dumping this file into microcontroller board so you need to let me you need to use flash magic so flash magic is the uh, software in the to which is used to dump the if, uh, exa file into microcontroller board you need to select the lpc2148 uh, uh, select device then you need to select the target port like com port to which uh, port you are uh, based on the port uh, based on the port which uh, your lpc2148 controller is connected in my case it is com3 then select the board uh, board rate then uh, select oscillator frequency 12 megahertz non isp this option is required then select the file let me go to the particular directory like experiment number 11 so let me go to experiment number 11 and select the file then uh, let me enable these two option verify after programming and erase blocks used by the exa file then click on the start it will dump the code into it will dump the code into uh, microcontroller board once this is done then uh, you can uh, see the output uh, on a stepper motor it will rotate clockwise and anti-clockwise direction so you will see the demo at the end of this video so uh, uh, here before closing this uh, video let me show you a debugging of this program I will go to debug then I will use uh, peripheral and i will enable this option like i will use this option gpio slow interface port 0 so and i will execute this program i will execute this program in one go and here you can see pin number 16 to 23 will be energized with the delay 
so based on this stepper motor will rotate based on this stepper motor will rotate and here you see this value io0 set register value so whatever value we have given based on the clockwise and anti clockwise uh, this pin will be enabled and uh, disabled so uh, with this uh, i will end this session please uh, please watch the demo or demonstration of this program at the end of this video thank you